Hi, I got some new Coach bags. I got two new bags from Coach. And that's something I haven't done in a very long time. So I have a bit of a story about my love of Coach years and years ago and how I did not like them at all for the longest time and now I'm going to give them another try. Um, so if you're up for a Coach story time and to see what I got, stay tuned. <laughs> a child of the 70s and a high schooler and college student basically of the 80s. So if you were one of those, you'll know that Coach was it. Coach was everything. It was just so, so coveted. They had those very famous classic legacy leather bags, the station bag and you know the ones. They were absolutely amazing. The thick leather, they wore like iron. They were just sleek, classic not fussy, they were just perfect. And I loved them. That's everything that I love. I don't really like a whole bunch of stuff on it. You know what I mean? I, I just, I like the plain, good, solid leather and the beautiful zippers and the turn locks and all of that was everything to me. So I saved and saved and got my very first coach bag. Um, little tiny thing, and I can't find it. I know I have it here somewhere. I did not get rid of it. I think that one of my daughters used it and I think it's in her closet and I'm not gonna go ri rifling around in that. So, or she has it with her somewhere. Anyway, um, it was a, just a black, dinky little it's kind of like the, what they call, they call it a dinky now i don't know what they called it at the time but the flap goes all the way over to the bottom it just turn lock and just like a small um leather strap i mean i just used that thing to pieces okay so that was my very first i loved it fell in love with the company and wanted to add, you know 87 more bags well um you know things happen i got into my gucci whatever and then uh when i was pregnant with my first child so this was I was 28 years ago, um, I got this. I have a picture of me, I remember I was pregnant in the picture. And I loved this bag. Then after having that tan one, I wanted black again, so, and I wanted a bucket type of a bag, so I got this one, which I just loved two pieces also. I love the straps, the thickness, the different, both sides adjust, so you can make it all sorts of different sizes for you. It had this outside pocket, which was just amazing. This bag used it two pieces. Then I don't know what order these came in, but I wanted a satchel. You know me, I love my black handheld bags, so I definitely got this satchel. And I love this leather, it's just thick, it's soft. Um, come on, this thing is in incredible shape, and it's so old, and I've used it so, so much. So, you know, I love Coach, in case you're not getting that idea here. <laughs> All right, there's my satchel. Then I wanted a color, so I got red. I thought, who doesn't want a red bag? I think this was also a birthday present, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I thought, how wonderful. I remember I had another red satchel, too. I'm not sure where that is, but I know I still have it. Um, yeah, it's just got the zip inside, a flat pocket here, just gorgeous, and the little magnetic, you know, closure. What a great bag. So those were 90s bags, okay? So that first one I bought that I can't, I can, couldn't show you, that was my 80s bag. Those were my 90s bags. This, I believe, was the very end of the 90s. I'm gonna go with like 97, 98, I don't know. But the backpack thing came back. So I got this one and seriously, used this to pieces. It's so, so cute. I loved how it doesn't really buckle, you know, it, just that magnetic closure there. It has this zip in the front, which was great um, for my flip phone. <laughs> and inside, perfection. This is a great bag still to this day. I bought this bag, I think, somewhere in like 2005, I'm guessing, something to that, something in that area, I think. And I loved it, and I was a little scared. It was more expensive. Um, and it, I wanted it in this, they call it chalk, kind of this whitish, off-white kind of a color. But I loved this bag. And this was the last one I purchased before stopping altogether. Legacy striped lining. This bag is, it's hefty. It really is. Um, the zipper is just so nice and substantial. It has this interior lining again. The handle, the hardware. These pockets were so wonderful for your chapstick or your credit card or, you know, whatever you want to easily access. And then this pocket on the back also with it zipped. Love this bag. 
I worried about it a little bit, of course, because of the color, but I love that color so much, I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it. And this was by, by far the most expensive one of all the coach bags I'd ever purchased. And I'm sure it's because of all the hardware and the heftiness of it. But the leather is just still so, so nice. So this was the end and the last of the legacy type leather that I purchased from Coach, which I love this leather. Then, years after this, I purchased a black bag. I'm not sure if I still have it. I couldn't find it, just searching real fast. Um, and it was a black leather bag, I think I said that. Um, it had a much, like a shinier, thinner leather. And I thought, well, that's not good. They kind of stopped making these, you know, plain, beautiful, heavy, legacy-type leather bags, pretty much. You could go online and still find some of the classic legacy styles online sometimes. For a while there, you could anyway. But basically, they were going a different direction, and the leather was thinner. And it kind of, like I say, it had a shine to it or whatever. And I used that bag, but not not nearly like these others. I didn't love it the same at all. It just felt thinner. I didn't like it. It wasn't, it wasn't what I was looking for that sort of ended it for me. I thought, well, rats, you know, I have these bags, I'll continue using them. And then I was started to get more into bags and then I had my new first Louis Vuitton and you know, it just kind of whoop goes crazy from there. So coach just kind of stopped for me, but I've always kept them in the back of my mind. I have purchased shoes from them since, but not bags, little small leather goods I've purchased, like little cosmetic case and things like that, little zippy pouches that I've really enjoyed and loved also. But for bags, I just was not, not happy. And then all the outlet mall stuff happened. I think that killed it for me. And I know that's just probably wrong, but the outlet mall bags came out and that cloth signature with the CCs everywhere, that was big, that was a big thing. When that happened, I started losing my love for the brand. Now I, you know, some of those bags are beautiful. I'm not saying anything wrong with them, but it just wasn't the style that I liked anymore. I just had fallen in love with this, this legacy type leather. And that to me was coach. And plus with all the outlet craze, everybody was carrying a coach and you know, I just thought, well, let's just move on to something else for now, right? But I've always kept my eye on them. I've always looked to see what they're up to and what's coming out. And nothing has appealed to me until recently. So here we are with the new. I bought myself two new bags from Coach to see how I feel about them. I want to look at the leather. I want to see how it compares to any of the leathers before that I've used and, and loved. Um, and I want to see what their hardware's like. So let's just jump in. Okay, I got my big box here. Let's open it up. I can't open this box. How the heck? This is so weird. Ah. Figured it out. <laughs> Coach. This is the one that caught my eye first. I thought, oh wow, I've got to try that. It looks very similar in style to my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And I love that bag, so let's just check this one out. Couldn't decide between the black or that chalk white color, but I knew I would use the black more often, so I just went with this one, and who knows if I love it, I could maybe get the chalk one, because I love that color. Here it is. It is called the Cassie. Oh. Look at this beauty. Wow. It's like a pebbled leather. A little bit of a sheen to it, but not shiny, shiny like that one. I like the simplicity of this. It does have that. It's got all of this around it, so I need to take that off. So hold on. Okay, let's pause for a moment. In general, I really don't like it when a bag company of any sort kind of rips off a design from another bag company. Um, yes, I know there's creative license and you can't have everything completely different and I get that, you know, the inspired by and, you know, but when a company sees that somebody is doing really well with a certain style bag that's new and has not been seen before and then all of a sudden other companies come out with that bag, I'm not a fan. So that does bother me a little bit about this and, um, you know, I'm trying to see if I can get over that. It's not a complete ripoff of the Pochette Matisse, but it is so similar in styling. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a comparison of the two. Okay, let's 
So here it is without all the protective parts on the back. Okay, this is one thing I didn't know. I couldn't tell from the website if this was an open thing or if it was just sewn across here. And it is an open flap, which is wonderful. I read everything I could read about it um, on their website and honestly, it didn't say that they had this back flap. At least I don't, I must have missed it if it did. Yes. That's my iPhone Plus. This general idea is exactly like the Pochette Matisse in the way it just has the leather bit here that holds. Okay, let's open it up. It has this kind of a fabric textile lining in a kind of like in an aubergine. How fun is this? Okay, it comes with a dust bag. Very nice, very, very nice. Here's the strap. Interior, it's got this pocket here, this larger pocket here. It does have a zip across here though, and this front pocket. So the main compartment is this middle one with the zip, and then this is a smaller one in the back and a smaller one in the front. One, two, three, four, ooh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven adjustments. This is pretty much in the middle. So I am five, five. And this is the adjustment on the middle section of the seven holes. So if you are shorter than me, there's room to roam. And if you're taller than me, there's room to roam. So it's kind of perfect in that. I love it at this. This is kind of perfect, I think, for me. I'm all kinds of excited about this. I really am. I like it better than I thought. No, it's not that thick legacy leather, but I think this is a very good one. I love the pebbling on it. I love just the sleek, plain beauty of it. It looks like it will function exactly like my Pochette Matisse, so we will see how it goes. I'll put all my things in it, and I will do a comparison video. I will go from my Pochette Matisse to this and show what fits and so forth. So if you haven't subscribed already, do so so you don't miss it, because I will do that next, and I'll try to get that up pretty soon. Now let's look at the other one I got. This is the Tabby 26. Let's open it up. And this is more of a fall color I chose. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful color. This is a aubergine, I guess, you know, that deep eggplant color. Nice. And this also has that back pocket. Oh my gosh, that again, I couldn't tell. Okay, let's figure it out. This is the same price as the other. And like the other was basically a Pochette Matisse redone in coach style. This is obviously very much a Gucci um, Marmont. You know, the way they've got this. Uh, they definitely took some inspiration from them. Again, not my favorite thing, but yeah. I do like how this has the pebbled leather all around, but it has the smooth leather on this pocket area. Very pretty. Now, how does one open it? Okay, adjust. Okay, yeah, it's just a magnetic, just a magnetic tab. You pull open. Ooh, I like this. I do like that a lot. The strap. So here is basically the bag. You, ha you do have this pocket in the back. Perfect. Let's check out my cell phone in there. Perfect. This opens up. I love this. And this is, this is substantial. I like that too. It's got a good heft to it. It doesn't feel all hollow or anything. So this is a pocket under here. Let me try my phone in that. Perfect. And this is the plus. That's nice. I have a choice then where I can put my phone. So this pocket in the front, this pocket here, and then one behind the main zip compartment there. 
And then we have a little slip pocket in the back. This opens up for extra security in there for whatever you'd like to put, and it comes with the uh, dust, the dust bag inside here. So you have pocket, pocket, compartment, zip compartment, and pocket. Very nice. This is pretty. How oh, this is done. Let's put the handle on it and see what it does. There are two straps to this. I forgot. Oh, I'm so excited. Seven holes also to the strap. Same brass buckly hardware. And it also has the shorter strap. And this one has the same connections and it's kind of more narrow on one end then thickens toward the middle and goes narrow again at the other end and it's a shorter strap oh my gosh how cute is that that's adorable i really really like that um i used to keep these on all the time but i don't think i will in these two bags i don't know i don't think i want that part it's just extra dingly and i don't think i'd want that so i believe i will take those off Now it has also the longer strap. You could remove this one and use the longer, or I believe you can use them at the same time. Let's see what that looks like first. Again, this has the seven hole adjustment and this one is right in the middle, basically. See, this doesn't really, it's not really too much in the way. You could keep the strap on, it looks like, without problem that it might be cuter to take it off, depending on what you want to do. We have choices this way. This is adorable. I will be using these and I will definitely be reporting back on what I think. And I have a feeling the larger one is in my future also, and I already have the color picked out. So I'm very excited to use these, see what I think. I certainly hope that Coach is going more in this direction, which I just love. And ah, uh, yeah. I'll definitely be telling you what I think of these, both of these bags, and I will do a comparison to the Pochette Matisse with this one for sure. So, yes, stay tuned for that one. It'll be coming up soon, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye.